Hey guys, so today we're working on a 2001 Civic uh, bad CV joint axle. Um, first thing you want to do, jack it up, safely put it on a jack stand, and uh, remove the wheel. There we go. Um, next, your axle nut. You want that guy off, set to the side. Uh, I like to spray a little bit of PB Blaster, WD-40, whatever in here. Make sure that moves. Uh, first of all, and then I like to disconnect the sway bar link, just a little less tension on that control arm, makes life a lot easier on, on yourself. Uh, after that, we want to come underneath here, ball joint nut, obviously I've loosened everything up already. You can disconnect the brakes to give you a little more swing for the next part but not necessary I don't do it to each their own uh, every if you've never done this before you're gonna want a hammer on the control arm to bust the control arm loose from the ball joint you do not it will not come apart so with that said I'm gonna sit you down here a second After that, quite simple, lift it up, swing it out of the way, maybe. Alright, nothing a little hammer and punch couldn't solve. Just give that a little pull out. Simple enough, right? Next, get repositioned here a little bit. Underneath, you want to follow your axle in and Right where it connects to the transmission, bring your pry bar up in, give it a quick little tap, and as you can see, it's working its way out. After that, From the outside, give it a little pull, be gentle, don't want to break anything while you're in there, and there it is. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that would be the cause of this issue, among other things. Alright, as far as going back together, uh, exact opposite of what we did to take it apart. Um, you want to slide the axle, get it into the transmission, give it a couple good taps, you'll feel it click right in, slide everything out, back into the spindle, make sure everything slides in free. We can start our axle nut on here. Make sure that spins on good. You do not want to cross thread that. Next, we want our ball joint back in. <coughs> ball joint back into the hole. Start the nut on there.
the hole for the pin. Always use at least a cotter pin, but this comes with this really nice clip. I actually like that, so we're going to reuse that guy. Last thing you want is this thing coming off going down the road. And we're in. Axle nut tight. Sway bar length back in.